so hey guys in this video we are, will be solving the second problem so here i have taken the second problem okay so what is the lower limit and upper limit lower limit is nothing but 0 and upper limit is 12 and they have said that take n is equal to 6 what is the meaning of n n is nothing but the interval okay so three decimal places always remember that whenever you are taking the values always uh, it should be in three decimal places at least or four also it is fine if they are mentioned three then take it as three only okay so after the decimal point how many numbers you will take that's it okay so n is equal to 6 they have directly given first uh, first and foremost thing is nothing but write the formula then only you will understand what is given in the question so what is the uh, integration i i will denote with i the definite integral which is equal to h by 2 into trapezoidal formula is first term which is y naught plus the last term which is y n plus 2 times of y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus so on till y n minus 1 because again i cannot consider what last term right so the second last term you have to consider so the simple formula in order to remember this simple first term last term between these two terms how many terms are there put it over here right first term last term between all the terms multiply with 2 add them up then multiply with h by 2 that's it okay so what is h here this is the important thing h is nothing but b minus a by n now what is b then b and a b and a are nothing but lower limit and upper limit so what is a and b differentiate so before this let me just write here so it is basically b is the lower limit and b so a is the lower limit b is the upper limit right so n value is given in the question just substitute you will arrive at the answer for h so h is equal to upper limit is nothing but 12 in the question lower limit is nothing but 0 in the question divided by n n is nothing but interval they have given in the question so 12 by 6 is nothing but 2 so h is equal to 2 now what is the use of taking h h is nothing but the width that means from 0 till 12 you have to go but you have to take the steps of 2 that is the meaning of that that means you have to take 0 then next step will be 0 plus 2 which is 2 then 2 plus 2 4 like that you have to reach 12 value so we will first form the table first column will represent the x value second column will represent the y value which is equal to f of x which is given in the question what was the question given 0 to 12 right 0 to 12 0 to 12 dx by 1 plus x square this was the question right so that question you will i'll paste here so it is dx by 1 by this thing but f of x we have to consider only what 1 by 1 plus x square why we have to take dx we have to just consider 1 by 1 plus x square right this is the f of x value that means y value right see because we have considered interval a to b y dx right so we should not consider dx because y is only f of x so while comparison 0 12 dx by 1 plus x square that basic meaning is that 1 by 1 plus x square is nothing but y now next day. so x value i have to give so starting with the lower limit which is 0 then i have to go jump to 2 right because h value is 2 so 0 plus 2 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. See, we have arrived at the final interval. This was nothing but B, this was nothing but what? A, right? So, lower limit to upper limit, we have arrived. But the thing is that we have jumped what? 2, 2, 2, 2 intervals we have jumped. So, total how many intervals are there? 6 intervals you can see. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many points are there? 7 points will be there. Okay. So points are basically called as ordinates in, uh, in this one numerical integration. So we'll form y table. So first value of y table will denote y naught. So we have to take 1 by 1 plus in place of x what we'll put 0. So 0 square. So answer will be how much? 1. Which is nothing but y naught. Okay. Next. 1 by 1 plus again 2 square which will be how much 1 by 1 plus 4 which is equal to 1 by 5 which is equal to how much in points it will be 0 0.2 which is denoted by y1 
if you want 0.2000 like that you can write because they have said three decimal points but it is meaningless to write okay 1 by 1 plus 4 square which is equal to 1 by 70 and this is equal to 0 0.0582 which is y3 y2 next is 1 by 1 plus 6 square which is equal to 1 by 37 and this will be equal to 0 0.02703 and this will be y3 1 by 1 plus 8 square 1 by 65 which is equal to 0 0.01538 and this is y4 1 divided by 1 plus 10 square But here in this case, h by 2, first term is y0, but last term was y6, plus 2 times of in between whatever terms are there, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5. But y6 I cannot write because it is already considered over here, right, so I cannot write that. Now we have to substitute the values, h we got it as 2, so 2 by 2, y0 value you have to substitute. So observe here that we have got the value as 1.62916. This is the value we are getting to numerical integration. But actual value, if you see, we will be arriving at actual value as 1.48765. This will be the actual value using the calculator or by upper limit minus lower limit. If you do, you will be arriving at this thing. So that means you can see that there is a quite a large amount of error occurring in this so using other methods there will be slight amount of error or maybe more than this error will occur okay so we'll try to identify that errors